Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you guys how I made this cigar tray with some alcohol inks and this is my own mold. I made it myself. It's the first one I've ever made so it is rough okay so don't judge me. Um, so you, you of course you fill up your uh, mold with with some resin. Um, I'm using cast and crab here. I got some butterscotch ranger espresso ranger mixative rose gold by ranger gunmetal black that one's by pinata the rest are ranger and then that's just some pinata white um so what i found with big molds is that you want to pour in layers you don't want to pour a bunch of resin in a huge mold because um you're going to have a problem trying to get it out Sometimes it'll cure crazy and then it'll, it'll get stuck in there. It might ruin your mold. So I filled this about halfway and there's no kind of like rhyme or reason how I'm like putting the um, ink in there at all. I'm just going, I guess, with the flow, whatever. And you guys can use any colors you want. It doesn't matter. Um, my camera died. I wanted to show you the movement, but by the time I realized it was too late. So this is after like two or three minutes, I decided to go in with the casting craft white and just kind of pour it in with the ink. And I like the effect that the casting craft has when you pour it in because it makes like these wisps. That's a weird word, wisps. Okay, now I'm starting to whistle when I talk. Um, it's like a little feathery kind of situation I just I really like the way it looks um this was a I've made this is the second time I've made this particular one with these same colors of course they don't always look the same but I've made this a couple of times and it's a cigar tray so you know you want it to be kind of manly I guess um so I wanted to stick with like more neutral colors so okay so even after I put the casting craft in I decided let me I'll just go back with some more ink I debated on if I wanted to do that or not. But ultimately, I guess I'm glad I did because I do like the way it turned out. And um, you guys will see here. Oh, I also put a clear layer on. Well, no, it wasn't a clear layer. My apologies. I used some brown mica, like a brown green. It's called Breen. You know, you get these weird colors from like Amazon and they like label whatever color they want. So, um, yeah, I put that at the top. Or at the bottom rather and this is what it looks like so thank you guys for sticking around i appreciate it you have a good day now